honey, that sweet golden coloured nectar that comes directly from busy working bees. It's actually more sweet tasting than sugar, so in this instance, less is more as far as sweetness goes. The worker bees collect the pollen from the flowers and take it back to the beehive. It then gets chewed and regurgitated until it becomes the liquid we recognise as honey and it's stored inside the hive in honeycombs. The colour of the honey depends on the type of flower or plant that the bee took the pollen from. The darker the honey, the more antioxidants. Honey can be found in raw form or processed. Processed honey tends to be clearer than raw honey since it's been treated, heated and somewhat diluted. Honey contains iron, zinc and potassium and being a natural anti-inflammatory helps to protect our bodies from inflammation leading to autoimmune diseases, heart disease and cancer. Honey also boosts good gut bacteria as well as energy and helps to combat nausea. Manuka honey, which comes from the pollen of the manuka bush in New Zealand, has traditionally been used for treating burns, cuts, wounds, infections and sores, and this gave rise to a dressing being developed made from manuka honey. All honey contains NGO, or methylgloxal, which has natural antibacterial and antimicrobial properties, but these are stronger in manuka honey. Grades ranging from 5 plus to 20 plus are awarded to this honey, with the higher grades having the higher antibacterial qualities, but also the higher price. Honey can help if you have a cough or a sore throat. Mixed with some lemon juice, cloves and a dash of whiskey, just a small dash, it makes a hot toddy when topped up with hot water. This also helps with asthma and assists to get us a good night's sleep. Even if you don't drink whiskey and admit it, you'll still feel the benefits. Honey also makes a great facial mask as it helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles, leaving your skin looking radiant. Whether you have land, a garden, a small patio, a balcony, a porch, or even just a window ledge, you can help the busy bees do their job. Growing fruit, vegetables and flowers, even in small pots, all helps to attract the bees, but please remember to avoid using pesticides and herbicides since you may be contributing to non-organic honey. Bees are attracted to bright colours. You may know if the soil is organic, but the bees don't, and they'll fly wherever they want to go, just like Mother Nature intended. <laughs>